Hey, my name is Jody. This is my cat, Ozzy. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over some books that we got at uh, this really cool, um, like, bargain bin kind of place where we live. Um, they have all kind of stuff. Um, they had like a basket full of sugar cured um, ham. <laughs> my husband was really grossed out by that. Uh, I think he got a Stephen King book or two while we were there. We got some other stuff. We bought fidget spinner. Um, first, uh, a book that he found that um, is kind of, is a autobiography type um, about the life and times of Gypsy Rose Lee. Um, so it was during like the Great Depression, uh, she was an entertainer. Um, so. It's kind of about her being a stripper during that time, uh, but I love um, I love stuff set in in the twenties and thirties. Um, everything was just so glamorous. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading this. Anything that he finds for me, I usually absolutely fall in love with. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, uh, and this is written by Karen Abbott, by the way. Uh, the next book I found, um, or that I have, that I found, is called The Nest by Kenneth Opal, or Opal, um, and it's illustrated by John Classen. Uh, I thought the cover looked really cool. It looked like something I might be able to get my daughter to read, you know? She's a teenager, so it's kind of like she can't hardly look at anything but her phone these days. Uh, and the cover was, the cover they have over the book is neat because it has a little places where you can, you know, read stuff that's on the actual book. And then the actual book looks like a hive. Uh, but it's not these. It's, uh, those are, those look like wasps to me. Um, but it starts off someone's talking and they say that she looks very blurry. Um, not human at all. And she's speaking but her mouth isn't moving. And, um, but I can understand. And she says she's here because of the baby. I don't know what that means but it sounds really creepy. So I wanted to read that. The last one I picked it up only because I thought it looked really pretty. Summer and Bird. Uh, these are two sisters. This is written by Katherine Catmull. Um, and basically, their parents have disappeared and their mother has left them clues with picture messages. And it kind of seems like one of the girls is really intuitive and smart and observant and the other one is not. She's kind of aloof. Um, and like the last sentence is Bird was a girl with secrets. So I'm looking forward to reading this. And the book is really beautiful. The inside cover has all these birds and branches. And then, you know, we don't make a lot of really pretty books like they did a long time ago. We would charge too much because of that. Um, and today we went to uh, a place where you can take books, magazines, comic books games and all sorts of stuff and we turned in a bunch of stuff we got um, $46 in store credit and so we bought 12 books a video game and a movie and we only paid like 15 bucks and I was really proud of that because it just felt like Christmas uh, the movie I got was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets I love Harry Potter and um, every now and then uh, I watch all the movies but my copy of this uh, just skipped and then wouldn't work. So um, they have a free bin. So like when you go turn your stuff in, they're like, we don't want this, we don't want that, we don't want this, this is awful. No, you know, then you just go put it in the free bin and then if some other loser comes along and wants it, then there you go. I got a book called The Pearl Killers by Rachel Ingalls. Um, apparently a book that people really like of hers is Miss Caliban. Um, but I thought the cover looked interesting and it's four novellas and then um, my husband wants me to read more like horror stuff and horror is not like what I would pick to read um, but unmitigated horror is you know a phrase that someone used to describe these so I guess I might be reading some horror after all. Um, my husband, the free book he got was by Kurt um, Vonnegut, Slaughterhouse Five. You can see why it was in the free bin. I don't know why hers was in the free bin. I know why his was because it's damaged. 
um, other books he got, he got Clive Cussler, The Mediterranean Caper. He got Richard Lehman's The Woods Are Dark, The Beast House, The Midnight Hour, Beware. And he also got Stephen King's Song of Susanna. He's in this book. Uh, it has, like, involves um, some time travel and, and or dimensional travel. And they travel to wherever uh, Mr. King is at. And he is in the book. So that's pretty cool. And then he got Needful Things. I'll probably read this. I mean, I hate these big, giant, hardback books. But this sounds pretty interesting. Um, and he's really eager for me to read more Stephen King stuff. Uh, I do whatever to make him happy. So I probably will. I, I found one book that I had that I just can't locate it, but I found it for $1.95, so why wouldn't I? And I love the book, so I won't be upset that I have more than one copy because there are other books that I love a lot that anytime I see a new edition that looks neat, my husband buys it. <laughs> but it's Terry Goodkind's Dead of Bones. It's a prequel to the Sword of Truth series, and really it's just a story about Zed and Eddie the Bone Woman. Um, I love that series. I think this is a really good book. Um, uh, I got two books by Catherine De Delore. Uh, I really love historical fiction. I love anything set in Victorian times, 1900s, 1800s. I just love all that stuff. Um, I mean, like, I don't like thinking about, like, their hygiene and, like, toilet habits and, like, how they didn't take baths as much and stuff. Um, like, throwing their poop out windows, but... But like the the social etiquette and politeness and their clothes and all that stuff, it's just it's all romanticized in my mind. But uh, this one is called For the King, and this inspector has to try and find these assassins that try to um, assassinate Napoleon Bonaparte by bombing his carriage, and um, he has a mistress, uh, the inspector. Of course, because um, they all did. Um, and the other book of hers I got is A Mistress of the Revolution. And it's about an impoverished noblewoman that her brother forces her to marry an old man, of course. And he dies. And um, she ends up at the court of Versailles with King Louis and Marie Antoinette and runs into her first love. She didn't think she'd ever see him again. But then of course, you know, it's during the French Revolution, so things were getting pretty hairy. At our bargain store, I saw a series uh, called, the series is called Sweep, and it's by Kate Tiernan. They had like the last three books. I'm not gonna buy that, so I mean, it might be the place to go to buy like your last novels of a series. Anywho, I thought that it just sounded weird. It had a bunch of like Wiccan or like Druid symbols and stuff. Uh, but I found the first one. It was like two, three dollars. Um, and basically, uh, this kid doesn't understand what's happening to him. Maybe, um, you know, a witch, you know, kind of thing. Uh, I love stuff like that. So. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, and then, like you know, they're spelling, you know, magical, you know, kind of different. Um, but I love anything with magic. I love fantasy. Is obviously like my favorite. Um, a bunch of lists I look at, like you know, like if you like this, then you'll like that. And there was more than one that I saw. Um, the Graceland by Kristen Cashore. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this and it just seems really wild. Um, one of the books that I looked up, if you like the Throne of Glass series, then you like this. And, uh, Kesta, um, she's been able to kill a, a grown man since she was eight. Because she has some special grace gift or whatever. And she meets, um, Prince Poe and he has, he kind of, uh, she doesn't expect to become his friend, and then, 
um, she starts learning new truths about her own gift. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that. I, I, it just sounds wild and fun. Um, hopefully I'll be doing more videos. I don't know if Ozzy will join me for all of them or not. Um, but I can go through and tell you if I like these books, um, if I'm going to get the second in the series of these, because my favorite thing is to have um, a series with a lot of books. I love that. So, you know, The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan, um, anything by J.R.R. Tolkien, I don't care if it's even bad, I'm going to want to read it. Um, and then uh, Terry Goodkind. I don't get to read a lot. I'm hoping to read more. I'm hoping that um, doing these videos will uh, give me the opportunity to read more. And um, even though I will be kind of ignoring my family. <laughs> um, so until next time.